I want to talk about this Chiesa goal that gave Italy the lead over Austria in extra time. Initially, Austria are set up pretty well defensively in a 4-4-2 with all 11 players behind the ball. Piscina is in between the lines, but at this point there isn't much danger considering where the ball is. Austria are not overloaded on the right side and they have two midfielders to screen any direct passes into the central area. However, when Alessandro Schupf shifts across a bit early in anticipation of a wider pass, the center back in possession splits the midfield and plays into the feet of Spinazzola. Once this pass is made, the overload on the far side becomes potentially dangerous. You'd really want to see either Sabitzer or Leimer get goal side of Piscina now, because you begin to see a 2v1 situation developing with Alaba at the far post. Spinazzola has his back to goal, so despite Austria's numerical advantage, Spinazzola is able to shield the ball and keep possession. Now the forward runs from Italy cause Austria all the problems. Belotti makes a diagonal run that stretches the back line and creates a gap on the edge of the box for Piscina to run into. Alaba recognizes the danger and shifts across quickly to close the gap. And the Austrian midfielders failed in tracking this run, allowing Pessina to create about 10 yards of separation. Chiesa is left unmarked at the back post since Alaba is forced to shift across. And although Conrad Leimer makes that 20 yard sprint to recover as the ball's traveling in the air, Chiesa has the technique to bring the bouncing ball down with his head, shift it from his right foot to his left foot, evading the oncoming defender in the process, and scoring from close range. A very important goal, great technique from Chiesa, but I think the movement from Belotti and Pessina deserve a lot of praise and credit in creating this goal without either player having to touch the ball.